Hello designers, my name is Karthik from Design School for WordPress Beginners, the place where I teach you how to design, build and customize your websites. If you are new here, consider subscribing. In this video, I will show you 10 hidden features or elemental tips that you need to know in 2019. Let's get into the video. The first one is Elementor Hotkeys. There are a lot of shortcuts that you need to know while working with Elementor templates. And in case if you forget any of the shortcuts, you can press command, you can press and hold command and then press question mark and it will bring you the list of shortcuts or the actions that you can do with your keyboard keys and if you're on a Mac it will show you keyboard shortcuts related to your Mac environment and if you're on a Windows machine it will show you keyboards related to your Windows machine it's that simple so command or control question mark it's that easy here you can learn about various shortcuts or you can always use this as your shortcut cheat sheet so here it says template libraries shortcut is command shift L let's do it I'll close this one command shift L and boom it brings up my elementor templates that easy coming in at number two is right click in navigator menu well we all know how to activate navigator menu I've already made a video on elementor navigator you can either click on this or command shift I that will bring or toggle the navigator so as we all know that we can right click on any element in Elementor interface and it will give us various options well the same thing applies to the elements in navigator menu as well so you can simply right click and get all the contextual options from here you can also create new columns from here just like that your column is created and then you can drag in some widgets or duplicate widgets from other columns so you can simply duplicate this widget and drag it into this column. It's that simple to work with Navigator and just by using right click. You can also delete it, you can also copy and paste as well. So you can do a lot more with right click in Navigator menu. Coming in at number 3 is to copy and paste across various Elementor templates or pages. Well we all know that we can simply right click, copy and paste wherever you want on the page. So you can simply right click and paste here it's that simple however this also works across various templates or pages so I can pick this copy from here as it's a widget I need to go into a column right click and paste and just like that my widget is copied into another column in a whole different element or element or template it's that easy you can also copy sections and columns so you can simply copy and paste this column coming in at number four is to use finder to create new templates or pages using elementor finder well we all know that you can bring in finder just by using command e shortcut and you can type add in here and it will give you an option to add new post page template or any other third party custom post type just by using Elementor Finder. You can hold down command and click on template. So your current page won't be affected and you'll be creating a template in a new screen just like that. So you can pick and then create a template. It's that easy using Elementor Finder. Best of all, Elementor Finder is also accessible across your WordPress website. So no matter where you are in your WordPress website, as long as you're logged in and you're an admin command E and you have your element of finder it's that easy coming in at number five for URL suggestions well you have a lot of elements or widgets in your elementor interface that you can link to various URLs so you can type in or paste your URL in here or you can simply type the name of your post or URL and it will give you suggestions based on the content that you type and you can simply pick that and it will enter the URL for that particular post for you. You don't have to go in and manually find that URL. It's that simple. You can also pick and link it to various dynamic options such as lightbox or pop-up. Coming in at number six is to add white space. Well, a lot of times when you're working on your designs, you might find it really difficult to tweak the values of margins or columns for a particular widget, section or column. But you can manually get the spacing done using a neat little widget called spacer widget so you can click on this 
and drag it wherever you want and you can also adjust the spacing so that all your elements are perfectly aligned best of all the spacing widget is also responsive meaning you can have different widths or different spaces for different devices coming in at number seven is to disable templates well a lot of times you may have created templates for your theme builder or pop-ups and you don't want to delete them instead you just want to disable them well you can do in two ways but the easiest way is to click on quick edit and change the status from published to draft and click on update and that particular template will be considered as a draft and the design that you specify here won't be applied to your website it's that easy coming in at number eight is to save your designs as drafts well you can do it using the quick edit that i just showed you previously or when you're editing template and when you don't want to just publish it yet you can simply click this right arrow and save it as a draft and that particular template won't be published or updated it'll just be saved as a draft so you can be working on it when you log in back number nine position your background wherever you want using the custom position of the background so you might have images for your background you can click on any section widget or a column that has background go to style and under background position you have something called default you can click on the drop down menu and you can adjust the position just like that you can pick from one of the built-in positions or click on custom to further tweak your background image wherever you want so you can tweak it along x and y axis just like that to position it exactly the way you want finally make use of shape dividers that are actually available for each section click on the section under style you have shape dividers so you can simply pick one of the built-in to add that neat little personality to your design you can also pick a different shape divider and give it a color so something like that just by adding shape dividers it makes a lot of difference to your design and that's it for now and hope you guys like this video if you did make sure to give a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and let me know what you guys think in the comments down below and if you need anything else don't hesitate to ask i'm ready to help you catch you in the next video peace